after smuggling Tyrion Lannister into King's Landing near the Red Keep to meet with his brother Jaime, Esser Davos Seaworth, now a principal advisor to the King in the North, Jon Snow, finds Gendry in a smithy on the Street of Steel. Joking that he thought Gendry might still be rowing by then, Gendry confirms that no one has given him a second glance and realizes that Davos has come to bring him for something important. Having never been happy with serving the family who murdered his father and tried to kill him, Gendry explains that he's been preparing for such a moment and readily agrees to come with him. When Davos warns it will be dangerous and that he should take one of the swords in the shop, Gendry points out he was never taught to fight properly, and is only good with a warhammer, which retrieving from the back of the shop a warhammer, a maul with a stag's head design on either side of the haft socket, likely forged himself and referencing his Baratheon roots. As they prepare to leave, two gold cloaks arrive to inspect Davos's boat, and Gendry remains on guard while Davos bribes them into leaving. When the guards return after noticing Tyrion, Gendry kills them with his hammer, allowing the trio to escape. Upon returning to Dragonstone, Davos urges Gendry to keep his identity a secret and go under the alias of Clovis, but Gendry immediately introduces himself to Jon Snow as Robert Baratheon's bastard son. He notes how their fathers, Robert Baratheon and Eddard Stark, Jon's true parentage still being unknown to all, trusted each other, were good friends, and fought together. Jon and Gendry trade playful barbs about their fathers and appear to get along well. Gendry offers to accompany Jon on his expedition beyond the wall and Jon accepts his help. At East Watch by the Sea, Gendry warns Jon not to trust the Brotherhood, having been sold to Melisandre by them. Nevertheless, he accompanies the party north of the Wall to confront the Army of the Dead. North of the Wall, Jon asks if Gendry has ever been so far north. Gendry responds by saying he has never even seen snow before. He wonders how the wildlings even survive the cold, to which Tormund jokingly states three options, walking, fighting and fucking. Later, Thoros asks Gendry if he is still mad with the Brotherhood without banners, for selling him to Melisandre instead of letting him join them. Gendry angrily responds he is, stating that she stripped him of his clothes, tied him to a bed, and put leeches on him. Clegane tells Gendry to stop whining, explaining that Beric Dondarrion has been resurrected six times and never complained once. Beric himself admits that they were at war, and needed money to keep waging it. Sometime later, Gendry and the rest of the company get caught in a blizzard. Suddenly, they spot a massive snow bear in the distance. The bear also notices the group, and stares at them. Gendry sees its eyes and asks if bears have blue eyes. The bear charges at the group, taking out a wildling. Realizing they were about to fight an undead bear, the group huddles up and gets ready for combat. The bear attacks, wounds Thoros and kills two more wildlings until Jorah Mormont is able to stab it to death with a dragonglass dagger. After cauterizing Thoros' wounds, the group continues on their white hunt. Eventually, the group stumbles upon a small group of whites being led by a white walker. Gendry aids the group in their trap, taking down some whites with his hammer. Eventually, Jon Snow is able to kill the white walker, and all of the whites except for one perish on the spot. They successfully capture the white, but not before it could scream for help. Jon realizes the army of the dead is coming, and orders Gendry, who is the fastest, to run back to Eastwatch to send a raven to Daenerys Targaryen, asking for aid. Tormund convinces Gendry to leave his hammer behind with him, as he would be faster without it. It is quickly passed to Sandor. Sometime later, Gendry arrives at Eastwatch by the sea. Having run the entire time, he is exhausted and stumbles in the ice. He tries to get back up, but doesn't find the power to do so. He is met by Esser Davos, who asks what has happened to the others. Exhausted, Gendry tells them to prepare a raven, completing his mission.